Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you a powerful technique that'll level up your Power Builder projects. We'll import non-natively available features into Power Builder by importing them from .NET libraries. For today's example, we're diving into QR code generation. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that all the resources mentioned in this video will be included in the description below for easy access. All right, to implement a foreign feature into Power Builder, we'll need to follow a few steps. First, we'll locate a suitable .NET library that provides the functionality we need. Then we'll create a wrapper to encapsulate the library into an interface we can call from Power Builder. Finally, we'll import the wrapper into Power Builder. By following these simple steps, we'll unlock a wide variety of features not natively available in Power Builder. If you need a more detailed breakdown of how to call .NET assemblies, don't worry. We've got another video dedicated to that, so be sure to check it out. Okay, now let's dive into action. We'll start by searching for a .NET library for QR code generation. After a bit of searching, I think I've found one that'll do the trick. Now let's create a new c -sharp project and import this library. To ensure a smooth import into Power Builder, we'll create a wrapper class adapter. This adapter will bridge the gap between the library's interface and what Power Builder's .NET importer tool can work with. Once that's done, we'll export the project to generate the necessary DLLs. Quick tip, always set the deployment type to debug to avoid any hiccups later on. Now that we have our binaries, it's time to import the DLL into our Power Builder project. Adding a bit of code to handle the NVO and call the .NET function. And voila. We've successfully brought QR code generation into Power Builder. We've put together a demo application showcasing these steps in action, along with several other non-native features integrated into Power Builder. If you're using Power Builder 2022 R3 and opted for the demo projects during installation, you might already have it on your PC. Feel free to download the source code and explore how we implemented QR code generation and other examples included in the demo. That's it for today, folks. If you're eager for more of these short tutorials, let us know by dropping a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more Power Builder tips and tricks.